Hey everyone, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will learn how to do spot color separation using channels in Photoshop. This artwork is from freepick.com. You can download it from the link in the description to follow along. I'll be using the master steps light version actions to speed up some tasks. You can download it for free using the link in the description. This artwork has seven colors, off white, orange, blue, light red, dark red, brown and navy. We will separate these colors one by one and create spot color channels for each. First, let's create a backup of the artwork layer and bring it to the back. We will use this layer later to compare the original artwork with the color separated channels. Let's create a t-shirt color channel using this action. Create t-shirt color channel, hide it, select the RGB channels. Using the magic wand tool, let's separate the colors one by one from the lightest to the darkest. Set the tolerance value to 10 and uncheck contiguous and anti-alias to easily select colors. To start color separation, first make sure to select the artwork layer in the layers panel. Next using the magic wand tool, click on the white color to select all the white areas. White is the lightest color although it looks off white. Next create a spot color channel for white by alt clicking the plus icon in the channels panel. Option click on Mac. Name the new channel white. Sample the white color from the artwork. Next fill the selection with 100% black using the fill with black 100% action. Double click the channel and change it to a spot color channel. Solidity should be 100% for a correct separation preview. Finally, deselect the selection. You can either hit Ctrl or Command plus D or you can use the action deselect selection. We now have the white color in a separate spot color channel. Make the RGB channels visible by clicking on the topmost RGB channel. Let's remove the white color from the artwork so that we can see only the colors to be separated. Select the white color again using the magic wand tool and hit the delete key to remove it. You can also do the same by making a selection of the white channel by Ctrl or Command clicking its thumbnail and hit the delete key. Deselect the selection. To separate the next lightest color orange, repeat the same steps. Make sure the artwork layer is selected in the layers panel. Select orange using the magic wand tool. Alt or option click the create new channel icon. Name it orange. Sample the orange color. and fill the selection with 100% black. Double click the channel to access the channel options and change it to your spot color channel. With the selection still active, delete the orange color from the auto clear. Deselect the selection. Let's check the separation preview. Similarly, separate all the remaining colors If the magic wand tool doesn't select all the brown shades, hold shift to change the magic wand tool to addition mode. You can see a plus sign next to the magic wand tool. Now click on the other brown shades to add them to the selection.
Finally, create a sparkler channel for navy. Once all the colors are separated, we can delete the artwork layer. Let's quickly compare the original artwork on the color separated channels. Run the action, create new side by side comparison to create a new comparison. Choose the move tool. On the left document, make the artwork copy layer visible along with the t-shirt color. On the right document, turn on the separated channels one by one. First hide the RGB channels. Now turn on the channels one by one. First is white, next orange, then blue, then red, then dark red, then brown, and finally navy. Looks good. After checking the preview, we can close the new document. Next, we need to move the spot color channels to layers if we are printing prints from Photoshop or saving as PDF. Select a channel and run the move from channel to layer action. Name it. Hide all the spot color channels. Click on the white color using the magic wand tool to make a selection. And delete the white color to make the white areas transparent. Hide the other layers. Deselect the selection. Similarly, move the next color orange to a new layer. Delete the white color to make the white areas transparent. Deselect the selection. Similarly, we can move all the spot channels to layers. Whether we use channels or layers for spot color separation, the result is the same. Using channels lets you see the spot color channels in black and white. Similar to how they appear on film, the colors are arranged from top to bottom. Using layers for spot color separation involves fewer steps but doesn't show previews in black and white. The colors are arranged from bottom to top. You can check out my previous video if you'd like to learn how to do spot color separation using layers. Both methods have their advantages and disadvantages. Choose whichever you prefer or find easier. So this is how you do spot color separation using channels in Photoshop. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more color separation tips and tricks. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. Thanks for watching.